Hey there, how are you? I'm Pavani. In this video, we're going to see how to set up and run Apache Airflow using Docker in Windows 11. You can pretty much follow the same approach even if you have all the Linux or Mac. So before we start, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. So uh, first, we have to make sure uh, we have docker and docker compose installed in our system for that you can go to your command prompt and type in docker hyphen hyphen version and docker compose hyphen hyphen version so here you can see i got my version numbers because i have these two installed in my system but if you don't have these i have made a detailed video on how to install and set up docker in windows 11 so i'm going to keep that in the description you can refer that video and set this up in your system so once you have this we can set up uh, we we can proceed to run airflow uh, in our system so i'm going to create a new directory here using mkdir and directory name would be airflow docker docker and I'm gonna move into that directory. So here I wanna open my VS code and continue the remaining commands in VS code terminal because I just prefer that uh, to show the Docker compose file in that editor. But if you are comfortable here in a command prompt, you can uh, proceed the remaining commands as well here itself. For me, I'm opening uh, VS code. Okay, I'm gonna need a new terminal here. And Airflow is a, it has several services like web server, scheduler, worker, etc. So we're gonna need to run more than one container for which running it, uh, running them through Docker Compose file would be a uh, best way. So lucky for us, we don't have to write the Docker Compose file. We have already made it available for us by Airflow community. So let's go to any of your favorite browser and type in Airflow Docker Compose and go to the first link that says running Airflow in Docker Airflow documentation and go down in here up to the point fetching Docker Compose YAML. So uh, this command uh, downloads the Docker Compose file for us into our system. Uh, but you can use this command just copy it and paste it uh, as it is if you are in Linux or Mac But since we are in Windows this LFO option doesn't work. So I'm just gonna copy this URL and in the terminal I'm gonna type curl and paste the URL and Q option wo and The file name which we want our docker compose file should be downloaded. So docker compose.yaml I download this I got uh, my docker compose file uh, got downloaded here and here you can see all the details like the version number the image that we're gonna run and the environment variables if you want to customize your airflow environment you can change them and so here you can see volumes. So the left side ones, the DAX logs and plugins are the directories that are to be mounted from our local system to the right side directories, which are in the container. So we have to have these three directories in our local machine. So I'm going to just create them using mkdir here. mkdir DAX, mkd ir logs and mkdir plugins the three directories i just created them and if you go down you can see the services like postgres service redis airflow web server airflow scheduler and airflow worker and here you can see airflow in it this is the service that we have to run in the first which creates a database and it will create a user uh, with the username airflow and password airflow so let's just run our docker compose 
Docker Compose up Airflow init. So this is gonna take a while. So let's just wait. Well, it did took a while for me. I just paused the video until it completes. So uh, expect the same amount of time for you as well. So here it's completed for me now. You can see the user Airflow got created with the admin role. So once you uh, ran the Airflow in it, you can uh, go ahead and start all the remaining services by using the command docker compose up so if you get any warning like airflow uid not created just ignore it it's fine now this uh, should start all our services let's see well this did start uh, now so I'm gonna open a new terminal here I want to check uh, whether the services all are up or not so let's give docker ps command and you can see uh, all these containers are up and running healthy you can see the status here so we can go to uh, our afro portal now so let's open our web browser and go to local host 8080 and here you can see our airflow is up you can give the airflow username as airflow and password also airflow and sign in so here you can see we have all our example DAX uh, that came with the container and you can create a new DAG and place it here in this DAX folder. It says uh, the scheduler is uh, not appear to be running but it will become healthy in a while so it should work fine. So you wanna make it down, you wanna end the airflow service and clean it up. You can just do that by using command docker compose down and it will stop all the containers uh, related to that it is starting uh, it is stopping the schedule and now you can see and postgres redis and it did stopped all of them and here you can see it got exited with code zero and if i refresh this now i don't get it so you wanna run it again you just do the docker compose up and you will have your airflow service up and running in your machine in the docker container so that's all for this video i hope it's helpful uh, so uh, thanks for watching